Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Tech News. I'm talking today about American censorship. Brought to you by the United States Congress. Uh, the United States Congress held a meeting, or a, a hearing, a hearing, on November 16th. So a lot of people do know about this already. It's been highly publicized, highly written about, because it's just huge. But they uh, they held a hearing on this November 16th of 2011. And they want to be able to block websites, such as torrent websites. And yes, torrenting is illegal. I'm not going to say that people don't torrent because there's obviously a reason for people torrenting. There's obviously a reason that Congress is trying to do this. But I b uh, definitely believe and strongly believe that it is our full right to have the internet. It's our full mean of communication. As proven, it's growing more and more as communication every day. And anything being blocked on the internet by the United States should be illegal. They should have no right to block it. As it was given to us by them. So they can go and they can say, well, we give to you. What if we give to you? We can take away. But... Uh, I think that's complete bull. But uh, definitely, I would like you to go to AmericanCensorship.org. AmericanCensorship.org right now. I Pause the video. The video is not important. What is important is going over to AmericanCensorship.org and you want to make sure that you put in your name, email, address, and zip code. This is an automatic message telling you that the internet blacklisting is completely crap in the United States. Now, I think it's crap in China, too. I think just blocking the internet in general is crap. But I highly recommend you go to AmericanCensorship.org. AmericanCensorship.org. If you don't know how to spell American, <laughs> it is A-M-E-R-I-C-A-N. AmericanCensorship.org. Go over there. Put in your name, email address, address, zip code. And you can also change this message if you don't like it. You could change it, as far as I'm aware. What do you know? You can. Uh, you could change the, this message if you want to send a, spe a different letter to your congressman explaining how you don't like this. But uh, this letter will do if you feel that way. There's also a... I'm not a U.S. citizen button. So if you're not a U.S. citizen, you can click that. And if you feel strongly about it, please go ahead. A non-U.S. citizen's accepted. But this is a huge thing. I don't know if you understand this is how big this can be. And how if you know the law, you know that the law gets twisted. So you know if they block one thing, then they'll get used to blocking more things. And they'll just keep blocking stuff. And eventually, it's just going to go too far. And you, and you, anyone, everyone should know that that it's it it could go too far. And you don't want to you don't want to make that you don't want to take that risk of making it almost going too far. You want to stop it at the source before it goes out there. So go ahead, go on over to AmericanCensorship.org. Also, another thing I want to promote is also on this website. Is you can go and you. This is what actually this is the logo you will see, on uh, if you go to a website that is blocked by Congress, you will see this this little logo right here. But also there's a there's code right here, and for anyone that has a website, please I also ask you to put in this code into your website. It will show up. Uh, I believe only for the first time member. So the first time. Uh, someone shows up on your website that has not gotten this, they'll uh, get this. It says website block. Please support um, American censorship and write a letter to Congress. Say, and then it'll take you to right back to this website, AmericanCensorship.org, where they can send a letter. If that, and then there's another code which will do this, which is just stop censorship. This will always be on the website. Until you take it down, of course. But it is just code. You can paste it anywhere in your website. It will show up on the page. I have it pasted at the very bottom of my website, and it still appears at the top. 
So it does not matter where the code happens. It does not matter if you are a coder. I don't care if you're a coder. Copy this. Copy this code and put it into the framework of your of your of your of your website, your friend's website, whatever website you have access to. Put it in the code. Put it in there. Put it in that HTML slot. You want it in there because we don't want this. This is terrible. But uh, again, head on over to AmericanCensorship.org. You go to Let's Talk Tech Show dot com. We have the censorship thing on our website because, of course, why wouldn't we? This is this is a terrible idea, and I'm totally against it in every way. Write a letter to your congressman. Call your congressman every day if you want to, and tell them that this is a bad idea, and you don't want this because it will. It and I, I'm just I'm just saying it will because it probably will go too far and they will end up blocking stuff that they don't need to block and this can turn into a huge thing and it will it violates our rights as a US citizen to not have a complete internet so I ask you to go over there uh, let's talk tech show com if you have any comments on this if you're for or against it please let me know you have other news about what Congress is doing any videos or anything about this go ahead let's talk tech one at gmail.com and I'm just going to get this video up as fast as possible. I'm not going to do any logos or anything. This is going straight up on YouTube. And uh, go ahead. Give us a thumbs up. Or you can go ahead and just write your little comments or be trolling. Uh, again, my name is Alan Billings, host of Let's Talk Tech Show News Online.